Alan Parr's Seven Dimensions of Spirit-Filled Worship is Demonic Exposed. First and foremost, please notice that Alan Parr has his demonic logo on each and every clip. As he described the seven dimensions of spirit field worship. Alan Parr's logo consists of a heart and a heartbeat symbol. The heart represents the garden in Eden, and the heartbeat symbol represents a serpent. For full understanding of Alan Parr's logo, please view my video called Alan Parr's Demonic Logo Exposed. Alan Parr's logo is saying, I love Satan. Now let's jump into the video. Alan Parr talked about the seven dimensions of spirit-filled worship. He says that is what he is going to call it. Alan Parr says, did you know there are seven beautiful Hebrew words in the Old Testament for the word praise? Alan Parr says, and each one of these words presents a very beautiful and unique picture of how you and I can praise and worship our God. Alan Parr says, and when we understand the seven dimensions of spirit-filled worship, it frees us up, my friend, to worship God in spirit and in truth. Alan says, first Hebrew word is yada. Yad, which means an open hand. Ah refers to Yahweh. It means to extend an open hand to God. Alan Parr says, first Hebrew word is yada, and then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word yada. Yada, subliminal image. Alan says it means to extend a open hand to God. Alan Parr says, when Leah had Judah, her mindset was, I will yada the Lord. Leah's mindset was, I will extend an open hand to God by lifting and opening up my hands to God. Notice the palm of this woman's hands are coated in dark brown, like it is mud on her palms. And these are the open hands that are being lifted up to God, dirty palms. Alan Parr says, Now there are all sorts of ways we can express lifted hands up to God. Alan Parr says, One way might be celebration. He says, Like we're at a football or a basketball game and we're celebrating, we're lifting our hands up. 
Again, yada. Alan Parr then shows you the picture to the left of your screen. People, I'm just trying to figure out since when are you celebrating God when you are at a football or basketball game lifting your hands up for your team? Make that make sense. When Alan Parr says the word God, Alan Parr shows a subliminal image to the left of your screen. He is showing you his God. People, this subliminal image has in the background demons hiding behind the pleated curtains. I have placed a white dot for the eye for easy location of demon. Okay, I want to let you guys see this really quick. You see this um, face right here? It is hiding behind these little pleated curtains. I don't know if, the, if actually if these are curtains or just little um, like podiums or just little um, little sh um, little walls or some sort that are um, present here. But you can see these little separations here of these little curtains or little podiums or um, some type of a wall here. But you can see this demonic face that's peeping out from the side of this wall here. You see that? You can see his eye, a black eye socket. So I just dropped that white dot into the black eye socket. You can see the nose, you can see the mouth, and you can even see his chin. So you, And then you can see the hair on top. So you can see this face here, people. And it, the podium here, this wall here, is covering half of his face. So he is just peeping out from around the side of this little wall here. And he's just viewing the people here in the audience as they are celebrating and lifting their hands to God. And so Alan Parr has placed this demonic entity here because this is in representation of God. This is a demonic entity. And there's a demonic um, image here too. If you guys look closely, you can see this face here. But since this one is so large, I wanted to bring this one out. So this is placed here, people, because um, Alan Parr, the powers that be, want this subliminal image to go into your subconscious mind so that you will receive this demonic entity as your God too. People, I will also show this subliminal image in video. Please notice the demon behind the white pleated curtain. The footage will repeat itself. The video is being played in slow motion so that you may capture it all. Here is the video. Now, there are all sorts of ways that we can express lifted hands up to God. One way might be celebration like we're at a football or basketball game and we're celebrating we're celebrating and 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 we're celebrating we're lifting our hands up again yada 
people, I will lighten subliminal image to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. Demons in the water in a subliminal form. Okay, so we have this demon here. As you can see the right eye, clearly see the right eye. You can see the left eye and you can see the nose and you can see the mouth here. And it looks like he has some kind of a head sweatband going across his forehead and then his hair on top. So this is a demonic um, entity here and this um, entity can be found right here, you guys. He's right here and he's just turned upside down and he is placed here in the corner because once again, the powers that be, um, Alan Parr wants this um, entity to go into your subconscious mind so that you would receive this um, entity, this demonic entity into your life as well. So once again, you can see clearly see this face. Once again, this is the right eye, the left eye, the nose, the mouth. He has some kind of a sweatband going across his head and his hair on top. Secondly, we have this demon down here. As you guys can see clearly that this is his right eye, his left eye, his nose, and his mouth. And this is just a demonic um, demon, a demonic uh, spirit that's been placed here because the powers that be want these two particular demons into your guys' lives. They want you guys to receive these types of demonic entities into your life. He wants you to get used to seeing them. While this man raises up both his hands and worship God. So he's, this young man is here raising up his hands in celebration of God, but the God that he is celebrating is demons. You see there? Demons. Again, yada. Alan Parr shows you another subliminal image to the left of your screen in how to lift your hands up to his God. There are loads of subliminal demonic entities in the sky and on the landscape that the girl is lifting her hands up to. I will darken subliminal image, add white dots for eyes to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. Okay, you guys, so I have darkened the image and you can see the demonic um, entities that are placed there in the sky. There are several demonic entities placed in the sky. There is also a subliminal image of the Baphomet and Satan in the landscape. So you guys can see these little goat type um, creatures up here. And this one has the little four legs and a little teddy bear here. And this one here has a little crooked smell with this little ears popping up. And then this demonic one here with his ear. And then he has a horn like almost in the middle of his head. And this is his mouth and his two black eye sockets. I just placed the two white dots in to um, bring out the face that much more. So these demonic little entities placed in the sky in which this girl is lifting her hands up and she is worshiping the demonic, okay? So they wouldn't put this kind of stuff here in these images unless they were trying to assault your subconscious mind, people. This is what they're doing. So um, Alan Parr says, lift your hands in need. So if you're in need, you know, these demonic entities, they're here. They're, they're here to help you, according to Alan Parr. Now, down here, you guys see the trees. And it's darkened right now because I darkened the image so you guys could see what's up here in the, in the sky and the clouds. But down here, these are trees. And we're going to bring that out as well, where the demonic is lying even there. Okay, so you guys can see this has been put back to um, the normal light that was presented on the video. 
and the demonic is hiding here. Do you guys see the Baphomet right here? This is a subliminal image of the Baphomet and actually is the subliminal image of the Baphomet and next to him is Satan, a subliminal image of Satan. So we're going to start off with the Baphomet. You can see his left eye right there and his right eye and this is the top of his head. He comes down and you can see his little round nostril. So what I'm going to do is blow this image up and I'm going to separate him from the image of Satan. Okay, so here it is. So this image here, people, is the same image that you see down here. And you can see the top of his head. He goes around, comes down, around here. And you can see that. And you can see his left eye. You see that black eye socket? And then this black eye socket. So this this is left eye, that's his right eye. And what you're looking at is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. Okay? So once again, you see him. He's right here, you guys. If you just focus, you can see this. You see that? Top of his head comes down. There's his left eye and there's his right eye. And this image here is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. That's what they're showing you here, people. But next to the Baphomet, you have a subliminal image of Satan. He's right here, you guys. They got him close, but they're actually, you know, like almost two different shades of green. But if you look carefully, you can see this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring down the subliminal image of Satan. There you go. You see this? person here laying on his back okay and he's looking directly at you he's the he's turned over and he's his, his head is turned in your direction and he's smiling you see his right eye you see the white of his eye and this is his black pupil once again the white of his eye and his black pupil over here i placed the dot and um, because the eye was missing here so i placed the white dot to balance out the face so this would be his left eye. There is his nose, his top lip, his bottom full lip. And this devil even has a goatee. You see there? He has a goatee. Just like you see this Baphomet has a goatee right here. So does this one. He has a goatee on his chin. And you can see his neck right here. And then um, his body once again he is laying on his back so he's just chilling on his back as you see here in this photo and you know this is right here hiding in plain sight this um, subliminal image of Satan is hiding right here in plain sight it's not like he's not there or he's you know placed someplace else where you couldn't see him he's right here people and he is hiding in plain sight I just split the pictures so you can see the subliminal image of the Baphomet and the subliminal image of Satan. And when you put them together, there they are together. Once again, you see the Baphomet right there, you guys. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you see the subliminal image of Satan right here. You see that? If you just focus and really look you can see this once again this is his right eye the white of his eye his black pupil i dropped in that white dot for the left eye there's his nose top lip bottom full lip his goatee as it comes to a point and he is laying on his back okay and we cannot leave out alan parts logo which brings glory and honor to Satan. Okay, you guys, I did a breakdown on Alan Parr's um, logo. And if you want to see that, just go to my videos and, and you see Alan Parr's demonic logo exposed. And as you see the heart, you see a heart here, and that represents the garden in Eden. And then you see this apple inside of the heart and initially it looks like a another heart but it isn't 
is an apple and we know that because of the leaf that lays to the side here you guys you see that so this represents the apple aka the forbidden fruit and this heartbeat symbol you see here represents a serpent that's the Alan Parr's logo again yada this subliminal image is a man worshiping the image of a beast I would darken the image and turn it on its side to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. I will drop in an eye for better clarity. And before I do that, you guys, I want you to really focus in on this demonic beast. It's like really hairy and you can see his eye socket here. You can see his nose, you can see the top lip, you can see the bottom lip here. The bottom lip. And this is a beast, you guys, formed in the clouds. So I'm going to drop that eye in there. Okay, you see that? This is a beast. And this is what this young man is worshipping. He is lifting his hands and surrender to the beast this man is worshiping a image of a beast and so when you see this guy here alan parr wants you to think that this young man is worshiping the most high but he is not this is why this subliminal image this demonic subliminal image has been placed here because um the powers that be satan Alan Parr wants you guys to worship the beast as well. Why do you think they put this here? They're not just putting this here, you guys, for their health. They're putting this here because they're trying to assault your mind. They're trying to rape and assault your mind so that you will receive the beast, Satan, as your God too. Alan Parr is a devil. He is a straight out devil. Yes, he's charismatic. Yes, he seemed like he's a jolly type of individual, a coin dexter type individual. But this man is a devil. He is making merchandise out of his listeners. He's selling them t-shirts and coffee cups and baseball caps, um, hoodies, you name it. He's selling it. I mean, $38, $28, $18. I mean, he is racking it up. This is his pay from Satan because he works for Satan and getting people to receive of his, of his ministry and um, people, they believe in Alan Park. So his payback is Satan blesses him to be able to make merchandise out of the people. So he places all his t-shirts on his godly uh, platform in which he said he's trying to build up the body of Christ. Alan Parr is doing nothing but building up his pocketbook, okay? He's padding his pocket. He's accusing other people of padding their pockets. It's him that's padding his pocket for himself, okay? You guys need to wake up to Alan Parr. This boy is a devil. Flip the subliminal image in the other direction, and you get this demon. I would drop in two eyeballs for better visibility. And before I do that, you guys, I wanted you to look at this demon here. And this demon is located right around in this area, you guys. Okay? So when they make these demonic visuals, um, they layer in the, the images. They put this upside down on the side. They uh, flip it over. So there, these demonic images a lot of times are layered in. So when you look at the image, you're not just getting one image. You're getting several ones. So you can turn a picture to another direction and get a whole new group of demons that they have um, placed on the image. So you guys see this demonic looking 
monkey looking type demon here. Demons come in all kind of different um, colors, shades. Some demons are so hideous looking that other demons don't even want to be around them. That's how bad they look. So you see this demon here. You can see clearly his um, right and his left eye. You can see his eyebrows. You see that? You can see his forehead. You can see his mouth. His mouth is agape. It's open. And you can see his hair on top. So this is a demon that they placed here to, once again, to go into your subconscious mind. So you, you start accepting things like this and this size squash looking demon here, you'll, you'll start accepting this type of stuff and not really have a problem with it. So we're gonna drop into um, eyeballs over the already existing eyeballs that are here. Okay, there you go. This little, I don't know, raccoon monkey looking demon here. And it's here because it wants to get inside of your head. Alan Parr is a big devil, and those that sit under his ministry are like sheep ready for the slaughter. Second Hebrew word is toda. It means to give thanks, to make a confession. Alan Parr says, second Hebrew word is toda. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word toda. Toda, subliminal image. This young man is worshiping the Baphomet. I will turn subliminal image on its side to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. Okay, you guys, so I, this is the original image here and I have turned it over to, on its side as you see here. Do you guys see this demonic subliminal image of the Baphomet, you see that? This is his left eye, a black eye socket. And so what I'm going to do is drop in a white dot. There you go. So you can see the face. You can see that his mouth is open. And you can actually see his goatee coming out this way. So you see the subliminal image of the Baphomet. Okay? You see that? And this subliminal image of the Baphomet is captured right here in this area right here. Like I said, you guys, they place these images, they layer them in from top to bottom, from center, flipping it over. They place um, demonic subliminal images everywhere on the image, not just in one um, front and centered um, position. They place them everywhere. They layer these images in. So when you turn the image on its side, the Baphomet comes to life. You see that? You see the head of the Baphomet. Hiding in plain sight, the Baphomet. This young man is making his confessions and giving thanks to the Baphomet. So it looks like this young man is giving thanks and making his open confessions to the Most High, but he is not um, the powers that be. Alan Parr wants you to know that he is making it to the Baphomet. This is the reason why the Baphomet is here in subliminal form. So this is who they are saying this young man should and is making his confessions to. Third Hebrew word is Barak. It means to kneel down and to bless. Alan Parr says, third Hebrew word is Barak. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal image to support the word Barak. Barak subliminal image. 
This girl is kneeling down. The powers that be have filtered in a devil's head onto the plant up against the wall. I will enlarge image and lighten it just a bit and add two white dots for eyes to bring out the demonic. There you go, you guys. So here I have enlarged the image and that's the image of this plant that's sitting, um, that's standing in the corner uh, in this area here up against the wall. And if you look, you can actually see the head here, you guys. See there? You can actually see the head here. And you can actually see the left eye. It's just a little black dot there. But that represents the eye. So as I, I blew up the picture, and you can see this image here. Okay? So they have made it the same color of the leaves that you see around it, but... If you look carefully, you can see the tip of the nose, which is black. And you can see this demonic face of a devil. And then these two leaves that are um, coming out in, in this direction here, this represents the Baphomet horns. Okay? So this is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. If you look closely, you can see this demonic head that is placed here on the plant. And if you look carefully, you can clearly see the same head placed on this plant. So all I did was blow it up so you guys can look. If you look carefully, you can see. And once again, these two long leaves up here represents the um, horns of the Baphomet. Alan Parr is batting 1,000 in his demonic subliminal images. Fourth Hebrew word is tahila. It means unrehearsed, unlearned singing. Alan Parr says, fourth Hebrew word is tahila. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word Tahila. Tahila subliminal image. Please notice the demonic image to the upper right hand corner of this picture. It is in blurred form, but yet it is there. All made possible by Alan Parr. So you guys, if you look at this picture, it is like peeping in from the corner of the image. You can see his left eye and you can see his right eye. Once again, you can see his left eye and you can see his right eye. And here is his mouth. So you can see this image. It comes all the way down. It's just sitting right here in the corner. And it is in a blurred state. So it's not like crystal clear because they don't want you to see this on a, on a crystal clear um, platform. They don't want you to see this, but they allow you to see it just enough for you to put it into your subconscious mind. So you can see this demonic entity. It's like a spotted leopard um, type of a demon. And it's just sitting here in the corner and it is peering at this girl as she is supposedly worshiping the Most High, but actually she is worshiping the demonic. And the powers that be, Alan Parr, want you to know that. And this is why they put these demonic subliminal images into um, their images. They want you guys to take on this um, demonic entity into your lives as well and many people not, not all people are able to actually see this on a on a conscious level um i personally could not see it on a conscious level until the lord blessed me to be able to see these subliminal images and um these 
evil, wicked people, they have been given a mandate by the Most High to um, show you what they're doing. They have to show you. They have an obligatory command to do exactly what the Most High has told them to do. So they do obey the Word of God by um, doing what God said they have to do. But they do so in by using subliminal imagery. And because um, subliminal imagery is not necessarily picked up by your conscious mind. Most people probably like mm, like 95% of the population just would not naturally see this unless someone pointed out to you like I'm doing today. But every last um, individual are able to pick this up on a, subli a subliminal level. Oh, well, not subliminal, but a subconscious level. They're able to pick this up on a subconscious level immediately. Your brain is so wonderfully made that you're able to see this image immediately. And that is what Satan is after. That is what he is banking on, that you're able to see it immediately and store it into your subconscious mind, which takes it in as truth. I would drop into the face two eyeballs to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. So already, you guys, I've already shown you this is one eye, and this is the left eye, and this is the right eye. So I'm going to drop in two eyeballs over the already existing eyeballs that are there. There you go. So you got this demonic entity peering into the picture as this girl is worshiping um, the demonic. Again, Tahila. People, do you see this demon here? It is looking right at you. I would drop and two white dots for eyes for better visibility. And before I do that, you guys, you can see the eyes right here. This is the left eye, here's the right eye, here's the nose, and here's the mouth. It's almost like a lion type face here, but it is a demon and I will drop in two white dots um, for better um, visibility. There you go. So you got this demon up on this I don't know what this is, billboard or whatever it is they have here in this particular church or assembly or whatever it is. And she supposedly is worshiping the Most High, but they got this demon here um, redirecting you into what they really want you to see, which is the demonic. When you turn the subliminal image on its side, you get this big head demon man. I will drop in two white dots for eyes for better visibility. There you go. So you get this little demon face man here. Okay, you see that? So you get this demon face man here and they just placed him there just for, hey, why not? Just for the heck of it. And they do that once again because they want to um, assault your subconscious mind. And so they put all these demonic entities, um, images on a subliminal form so that they can attack your mind, people. This is what's going on. This is, I tell people all the time, subliminal imagery is Satan's number one weapon on the church as well as the world. Here's the video. Many believers never enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader before into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader before enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader before enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader before enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader or enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader ever enter into because they often wait to be prompted by the worship leader before they actually engage in worship but if you just let it flow from your spirit you can sing to God a new song 
fifth Hebrew word is zamar. It means singing to music or singing to instruments. To pluck with your hands. Alan Parr says, fifth Hebrew word is zamar. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word Zamar. Zamar subliminal image. Alan Parr says you can praise God by playing a instrument. And then he shows you the demonic subliminal image to the left of your screen. People, please notice the white sheet of paper that is tacked to the map on the back wall. People, the white sheet of paper is covering Africa on the map. I have long noticed that the shape of Africa on the world's map has the same form of a goat, a.k.a. the Baphomet's head. People, the power that be have even gone as far as to place a body of water on the map for the eye of the Baphomet. I don't think there's any body of water in this area. It is placed there because it represents a goat, a.k.a. the Baphomet, a.k.a. the all-seeing eye of Satan. People, Satan has always had his eye on Africa, his eye on the people of Africa. He is so focused on Africa that he has placed his image on Africa on the world's maps. Again, Zamar. Alan Parr says you can praise God by listening to instrumental music. And then he shows you the demonic subliminal image to the left of your screen. People, do you see the image of a devil filtered into the image in the background? I will drop in a white dot for the eye for easy visibility. So you guys, um, you see this young man here and he is walking down this trail here, this trail here, and he is just singing and enjoying his music that he is listening to. But in the background, you guys see this devil up here? You can see his right eye and partially his left eye. You can see partly his nose and partly his open mouth as if he is smiling. And you can see his left horn here. So you guys can see this devil up here. So um, they have filtered this devil into the trees here because they want you to know that this young man is enjoying his music, but is he is enjoying the music of Satan, people. You see this? This doesn't happen over and over and over again on um, Alan Parr's um pictures of demonic um, inserted entities on the images by mistake. Okay, every last one of his images, even the ones that I did not go over, have demonic entities placed on the image. So you guys need to wake up about Alan Parr. This man is a devil and anybody that watches my videos, and you watch my videos and you just say, ah, you know, I get people saying, oh, God's not into that. God's not into demonic locals. He's not into that. Yes, 
Um, God is very much into it, especially if that's Satan's number one weapon on the church. Yes, he wants to wake you up to what he's doing. Why do you think they spend millions, hundreds of millions of dollars each and every year on demonic subliminal images? Not even necessarily demonic, they can be sexual. Most of your, most of your subliminal images are sexual. It sells everything. Subliminal images sells everything. So um, not only do the world use it, the church use it too. Um, churches that are led by Satan, demonic churches. So you see this demonic image here, and it is morphed, it is filtered into the image. Okay, you guys, this has been filtered into the image because they want to get your attention and get you on board with serving Satan the way Alan Parr ser serves Satan. Here is the video. You can praise God simply by listening to instrumental music and worshiping God and worshiping God and worshiping God and worshiping God and worshiping God. Six Hebrew word is Hala. It means praise to God. Praise to Yahweh. It also means to be clear, to be brilliant, to brightness of light, to make a show, use both of external appearance, to be foolish, to be mad. Alan says this is that type of praise that when God does something in your life, you don't care who's around. Alan says, you're not trying to be self-conscious about what people think about you whenever you're worshiping God. Alan says, no, you don't care. Because what God has done for you in your life, it's worth a hala type of praise. Alan Parr says, six Hebrew word is halal. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word halal. Paul Law subliminal image. Alan Parr mentions his God all over the place. And then he shows you the following subliminal image to the left of your screen. People, do you see the big headed demon in the background? His face looks like he is covered in white bumps. I will place two eyeballs onto the face for better visibility. And before I do that, you guys can see this gross looking demon head comes to a point. You see there? And this is his left eye. And then they made this big, huge rectangle um, white um, area here. And this represents his um, right eye. Once again, this is his left eye, and this white block here is his right eye. There you go. So you got this demon, and left eye, right eye, his nose, and this is his mouth. So they got this demon 
front and center this is clear today and it's got this young man with both hands raised high as he worships this demon here okay and the demon is nothing more than a representation of satan so once again alan parr has on his images um demons demon after demon after demon after demon okay my goodness I mean, every photo that he is showing every image every picture is filled with the demonic and then they got these people worshiping it because this is what they want you guys to do the young man is raising his hands to a big headed demon the demonic Again, halal. Here a man plays a guitar as he looks at a demonic sunset. I would turn subliminal image on its side and add two black dots for eyes, a dot for the nose, and a mouth for better clarity. Hiding in plain sight the demonic so you guys can see this demonic face here these little these little projecting images here represent like his ears or something and then of course this is his left and his right eye and it's just this demonic entity that is placed here um for your enjoyment for not not, not let me take that back it's not for your enjoyment it's for your um possession and for your um, being conquered by the powers that be by Satan. So they want you guys to receive this demonic entity into your, your, your um, subconscious mind. They want you on board with this. Alan Parr wants you on board with this. You know, he gets paid. He gets paid to do all what he's doing. I mean, you guys got to stop giving this man a pass. It'd be different if he just had maybe one or two images. And he's, oh, I didn't know that was there. You know, my bad. I'll take that off. This charismatic individual has demonic entities on each and every clip, every image that he presents to you guys. You guys need to wake up. So I'm going to drop in a couple eyes and nose in the mouth to show you the face of this demon. There go the eyes, there's the nose, and there's the mouth. So you got this demonic face, and I just put these here to bring a little clarity to the image. But this is what you got going on here, people. A demonic entity that um, they have placed here to go directly into your subconscious mind so that you will start receiving the things of Satan, um, Satan as your God too. Again, hala. People, please notice the demon to the left of the girl. He is there with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. So you guys see this demon right here? You see that? You can clearly see his left eye, his right eye. You can see his nose and you can see his mouth that is open and you can see his pink tongue. Okay, once again, you can see his left eye, his right eye, his nose, his mouth is opened and you can see his pink tongue. So why does Alan Parr has this demonic entity next to this girl who supposedly looked like she's being baptized or something? Because Alan Parr wants you to receive the demonic people wake up notice the demon on the right hand side of image I would drop into the face two white dots for eyes to bring out the demonic okay there's another demon right here you guys see that he is behind the splash water and then there's actually another demon on top of that you see this water splash here with the two horns you see that 
the water splash even has his little demon you know he wants to get into the picture so you see the demon's head up here the demon's head but then you see the two horns projecting from the water so you actually got two demons right here and then once again you got your demon over here so this girl is surrounded by demons because this is what the powers that be Alan Parr wants you guys to get a good understanding as to whom you are worshiping and to whom whose name you are being baptized in and that is being baptized into the demonic come on you guys you gotta you gotta wake up I, I mean <laughs> I do these videos all the time I get very little views on these videos because people you know I, I found out that people are not really interested in the truth they're not they're interested in fables and having a good time popular preachers you know good looking preachers they dress nice they look nice them and their wives they're not interested in the truth this is why jesus said the pathway to hell is broad and wide and many there be that find it and the pathway to heaven is narrow and straight and few there be that find it because people are not interested in the truth nowadays. It's like a famine for the word of God. People do not care about the truth. I think the scripture says, the priests bear rule by their own means and the prophets prophesy lies. And my people love to have a soul. People love to be lied to. They love to be lied to. They really don't care about really the truth. People really do not care about truth. Wake up, you guys. I'm serious. Wake up. I mean, I mean, Alan Parr is giving you demonic image after demonic image, and you'll still support this man. You still support this man. Wake up. Again. Hala. Okay, so you see this gentleman here. He is raising his hands. Um, to be worshiping the Most High. But then, you know, you say, well, where is the demonic on this picture? Well, if you notice his finger here, it's like darkly shaded here. And when I just darkened it just a bit more to bring out the demonic, you see here on his finger, you see this little demonic little creature. I put that little black dot there as a point of, uh, of um, bringing out his face so you can see the eye the eyes always like the window to your soul so i always like to put the eyes there so it'll bring out the face uh with more clarity so you see the ears on this um, little demon little look like a little mouse or something so it's just here on his finger and it's just showing that his hand raise his praise is to the demonic you see here they, they don't miss anything they don't miss anything, something this simple. So his hand praise is to the demonic people. Okay, once again, Alan Parr is showing you who his God is. Again, ha law. In this subliminal image, you can straight out see a man throwing up the Baphomet sign. So you can see these people are lifting their hands up and they got all this confetti dropping from the top there and um, so this individual is throwing up the bottom side and so Alan Parr has placed this subliminal image here because it has the bottom sign and this is like sending a curse on the body of Christ or sending a curse on to whoever they are pointing these fingers to that's what that means so they're throwing up the Baphomet, or they also call this the Baphomet horns. And so he's throwing it up um, in the midst of supposedly a Christian gathering, but yet and still they're throwing it up, letting you know it's really a gathering for Satan. This subliminal image is straight out giving glory and honor to Satan. Hall Law Subliminal Image There are several subliminal puppet-looking demons in the background while this man raises his hand not caring what others think. I will place black dots for eyes 
to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. As funny as it may appear, puppet looking demons in the background. There are all sorts of demons in the spirit realm, too numerable to count. So you guys um, see this, this little demon here. I just place these dots here so you can bring out the face. And then you see this little puppet looking demon and it's like it's a girl and she has two pom-poms in her head like she's some little cheerleader of some sort and then you have these little demons that are all sitting in the trees that they have morphed out of the trees that are there so they they'll take the um, background and morph their pictures onto them so they can bring out their agenda once again you see this demon here and then you see this little cheerleader demon here. She's got like two little pom-poms in her hand. And she has on her little cheerleader outfit. And she's up here with her two ponytails here. So she's like a little pom-pom cheerleader demon. And then you have these other little demons that are peeping through the bushes. Okay? Here is the video. Right, And this is that type of praise that when God does something in your life, you don't care who's around. You're not trying to be self-conscious about what people are going to think about you whenever you're worshiping God. No, you don't care because what God has done for you in your life is worth a halal type of praise. It's worth that type of praise that says, God, I'm going to be like David in second type of praise. It's worth that type of praise that says, God, I'm going to be like David in second type of praise. It's worth that type of praise that says, God, I'm going to be like David all type of praise. Alan says, no, you don't care because what God has done for you in your life, it's worth the hala type of praise. Alan Parr says, now you need to make sure that when you do this type of worship, that it is genuine. That it comes from the heart and not something that you are doing, trying to impress people. Alan Parr says, but if God puts it on your heart to be foolish, and to be mad and to just be joyful unto the Lord. Alan Parr says, to make a show while you're worshiping God, he says, guess what? Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Alan Parr moves his hand from around his mic he is positioning his hand to worship and honor his God. Okay, before I go to the next clip, I want you guys to clearly see the deception of this man here. You know, when he was um, talking first, when he was originally talking, he, his hands were placed behind the mic here. But Alan, the deceitful Alan Parr is about to give his glory and honor to Satan. So he removes his hands from, from behind the mark behind the mic and he placed them to the side because he needs room to do what he's about to do. At the exact moment when Alan Parr says the word God, he throws up the pyramid sign. He is straight out showing you who his God is, Satan. So this is the reason why Alan Parr took his hands from behind the mic and placed them to the side here because he was positioning himself to be able to make the pyramid sign. This is why he did that. He took his hands from in front. He moved his hands from behind the mic to the side because he was in the process he knew what direction he was going into. This is the reason why he moved his hands over to the left. And after he said, God, this boy throws up the pyramid sign, letting you know who God is. Devil. Here is the video. Now, 
you need to make sure that when you do this, it's genuine, it's coming from your heart, it's not something that you're just trying to do to impress people, but if God puts it on your heart to be foolish and to be mad and to just be joyful to the Lord and to make a show while you're worshiping Him, guess what? No, while you're worshiping him. Guess what? No, while you're worshiping him. Guess what? Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded in the word of God. Not only is it encouraged, but it is commanded commanded in the word of God only is it encouraged but it is commanded in the word of God for all those who have an ear to hear Alan Parr is a big devil seventh Hebrew word is Shabak it means to shout to shout with a voice of triumph. To address in a loud tone. Alan Parr says, when God brings you through and God frees you from something or whenever you experience a triumph, he says, it's okay. It is even welcome and encouraged in the word of God to give a shout of praise because of what he has done in your life. Alan Parr says the seventh Hebrew word is Shabbat. And then he shows you the following demonic subliminal images to support the word Shabbat. Shabbat subliminal image. Alan Parr, he then shows you the subliminal image to the left of your screen. Once again, Alan Parr is sharing with you the demonic. I would turn subliminal image on its side and darken it just a bit to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. Hiding in the water, the Baphomet. The Baphomet is standing there displaying his penis. Okay, you guys, um, here you see the Baphomet. He is right here and he is displaying his penis. You can see the Baphomet's left eye you can see his right eye. You can see the Baphomet's mouth. And here is the Baphomet's penis. And you can see the head of his penis here at the bottom. Okay, so they got this little swirly demarcation line here separating the shaft of the penis from the head of the penis. Okay, so it's right here for you guys to see. It is in a subliminal form. If it was clearly stated, it would not be a subliminal image. So this is the Baphomet in a subliminal image. Once again, there's the left eye. There's the right eye. Here's the mouth. And actually, here's the nose right here. Here's the mouth. Here is the penis of the Baphomet. The shaft right here. And here's the head. Okay? Okay. So you see, once again, the Baphomet is a, this is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. And here you guys see the Baphomet here. He is displaying his penis. Once again, here he likes to do that. The Baphomet is always displayed with his penis showing. 
And so that's why on this subliminal image here, the Baphomet is displaying his penis, the shaft of the penis, and the head people. You can clearly see the demarcation line here. And they put that there because they want you to see the difference between the shaft of the penis and the head of the penis. So this subliminal image is a subliminal, subliminal image of the Baphomet. Again, Shabak. People, do you see the pair of eyes in the palm of someone's hand? It is looking up at the young lady as she worship. Okay, you guys. So you see this hand here. And it is not the young lady's hand. So these are both her arms here. And these are her, this is her, her hands here. So I don't know whose hand this is, maybe this person, I don't know whose hand this is. But if you look closely, you can see these little pair of eyes in the palm of this individual. You see that? I didn't touch this picture. This is what's here. This is what Alan Parr has placed here for you guys to see this demonic image. So if you look closely, you can see these pair of eyes placed in the palm of someone, some young lady. I'm not exactly sure who it is. People, I will add a nose and a pair of lips to the already pair of eyes that are on the palm of the hand. People, this is a subliminal image of the Baphomet. The fingers represents the fire of the Baphomet. Okay, so I've blown the picture up for you guys to see it even better. And you see the hand. I did not place these eyes here. They have been filtered, morphed, whatever you want to call it, onto the hand of this individual. So I just placed the nose and the mouth to bring out the complete face. And the fingers represent the fire, okay? The fire of the Baphomet. So this whole image here represents a subliminal image of the Baphomet and I have, it looks like to me that they are um, female eyes, that they're eyes that will belong to a woman. And I think the reason why they did that because the Baphomet is both female and male. As you can see, the Baphomet has the breasts of a woman and in the lower region, the Baphomet has the sex organ of a male, the Bachman obviously have a penis. So I think the reason why they put these female eyes here is because they are portraying the female part of the Bachman. Okay, so this is a subliminal image of the Bachman and these eyes were already here. They have filtered these eyes on the palm because they want you guys to receive um, the Baphomet as your God too. And once again, Alan Parr is down for this. And this is the reason why he is using this image, this subliminal image in his video. Again, Shabak. People, Alan Parr was speaking about dry bones and King David talking about Shabak. And then he shows you the subliminal image to the left. Of your screen. I will add eyeballs to subliminal image to bring out what is hiding in plain sight. Okay, so you see this ghostly looking individual here. Okay, and then also next to him is this wolf or some kind of wolf or fox looking individual demon both of these are demons and this is the image that um alan parr has placed when he was talking about david king david and about dry bones this is the image that he placed so i just put in the eyeballs to bring out clarity to what you're actually looking at you're looking at demons Hiding in plain sight, demons. 
The two demons have a close resemblance to the two up above. So I just put these two um, images here and this demon here kind of remind me of this little, uh, some kind, I think this movie was called Scream or something like that. I don't know if it was Halloween or, but this image here remind me of this in this demon here. And then you see this wolf and that's what this reminds me of. Okay, so they have put these two together and that's why I put these two together to give you an idea of pretty much of what you're looking at. Okay? Alan Parr has used all of these demonic subliminal images to solely seduce you into the kingdom of Satan. So people, this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18. That's 20. And I didn't even do all of the images that he had presented to you guys. But every last one of these images are demonic. They're demonic people. So what do you think Alan Parr is trying to do to you guys? What do you think he's trying to introduce to you? He's introducing to you guys Satan, okay? He's introducing to you guys the world of the demonic. That is his job. That is Alan Parr's job is to um, introduce to you guys the world of the demonic. The Bible says Satan himself has transformed himself into an angel of light. So it's no big thing. It's no big matter that his ministers do the same. So Satan is... The Bible says he's the father of lies. That means, and the Bible says that Satan deceiveth the whole world. In order for you to deceive a whole world, you got to be a real good liar. And I believe with all my heart that Satan sends all of his ministers that parade around as ministers of righteousness. He sent all of his ministers to seminary school so that they can learn their Bibles. He don't want a bunch of dummies not being able to represent the Word of God, to know the Word of God. He sends them to seminary school, seminary college, so that they can be able to toss up the Word of God and throw in a little heresy, a little leaven into the, the Word of God. Satan knows his Word. He knows his Word better than anybody on the earth. And he wants his ministers to know their Word too. So it's no big deal when you see a minister that's so... Um, well trained in the verses of the word of God. They know the word. They know the Greek. They know the Hebrew. They know the, the Genesis to Revelation. They know all of it. But they're still devils, people. Satan knows it all. Satan lived in the kingdom. He lived in heaven. He knows how it's ran. Satan knows his word better than anybody you know, better than any preacher. He doesn't want a bunch of dummies following behind him, you best believe you got to know your word. You got to know your word in order to work for Satan. If you are a minister parading around, a minister, a minister of righteousness, but you're really a minister of Satan, those people know their words. They're very charismatic. They're very happy-go-lucky individuals. They're very serious individuals, but they're very demonic too. So you guys wake up to Alan Parr. I don't, I don't know what else to say. All I can say is that um, you're not going to have an excuse uh, with the Most High when, on the day of judgment when he say, well, why didn't you, why did you follow Alan Parr? And you can say, well, I thought he was a man of God. But he's going to say to you, no, I had my servant Kim. I had my servant Bob. I had my servant Susie. Whoever warning you about devil Alan Parr. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I, I'm, I'm, I, I do these videos out of strictly directions from the Lord. And um, sometimes, you know, it's a little discouraging, but I do it because I have, I understand my mandate. It's not that I am to get a lot of views on my videos because I don't. My, I, my, my message is for the individual that I'm talking about. So when that individual come to my channel and watch um, the video that I've made for him, 
my message has been completed. My my message have been um, delivered. It's been delivered. And if no one else watches the video, my whole purpose in the video has been successful. And so um, I have to sometimes remind myself of that because sometimes it's a little discouraging to, you know, put this stuff together and then you get 100, maybe 150, 200 views and that's it because people are not interested in truth. But I repent and I tell the Lord, you know, I'm sorry for, I don't know, I'm probably being a little cocky or being a little uh, just want attention. I don't know what it is, but I repent because it's not so important that I, I tell people all the time, you're free to listen in in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for the individual. It's not for the people. You're free to listen in, you know, to, to help you out. But the message is for the individual. And I have to remind myself of that. So I don't get discouraged when a lot of people don't necessarily watch my videos. So um, let's continue. For all those who have an ear to hear, Alan Parr is a big devil and is leading many to hell. Okay, I'm done. This message is for Alan Parr. Once again, the message is for Alan Parr. People, you are free to listen in in hopes to save some from hell's fire. But the message is for Alan Parr. I don't have to convince him of his dirty, low-down, demonic deeds on the body of Christ. All right, take heed. Let no man deceive you. Yahshua loves you. Be blessed.